I just got back from a National Geographic expedition to Antarctica. It was an amazing once-in-a-lifetime trip. I'll be sharing many videos on this out-of-the-world trip, so please subscribe if you want to see more. I'll be sharing information on the experience and the ship, but first I want to share some must-haves for anyone planning to take a trip to Antarctica. Number one, you must have sunscreen. There were numerous people on the ship that didn't have proper sunscreen and their faces got progressively burnt. The snow reflects the sun intensely, so make sure you have a good facial sunscreen with at least 45 SPF. Number two, you should have inner and outer gloves. The goal is to have an inner medium weight glove that will keep your hand from freezing but allow you to take pictures. The outer layer needs to protect you from the freezing cold, but should be big enough that your inner gloves slide in and out easily. My glove liners were too thin and my hand was often freezing. So my fellow solo travelers and I thought mittens would be a good choice to keep your hand warm and allow you to slide your inner glove in easily. Of course, it needs to be a nice, warm, thick mitten. This is critical and was my biggest mistake I made. Number three, tethers. You need to be able to tether your phone, camera, and gloves to you. Forget about backpacks, they are very impractical. Use your pockets in your parka and use neck straps or lanyards to secure your camera and or phone. I would suggest a long enough lanyard that your phone can still fit in your pocket I discovered that the phone was more responsive when I kept it warm inside my pocket. You don't want to drop your phone in the water, so make sure it is secured. I attached carabiners to my gloves and hung them from my jacket. That way I could slide my hands out to take a picture and not worry about having to secure my gloves. Number four, wear lots and lots of layers. For my head, I wore a headband, beanie, neck gaiter, and often the hood of my jacket. For my body, I had two layers of long johns, a fleece, and then two layers of the parka that the expedition gave us. I wore my ski pants over my long johns. For my feet, I always had two pairs of socks. I rented the boots the National Geographic offered and they were terrific. Some people might need less layers than I did, but it's better to prepare for the bitter cold. There were some days that were sunny and other days that were snowing and windy, so be prepared for the worst conditions. Number five, have some slippers or slip-on boots that will accommodate your thick socks so that you can walk from your stateroom to the excursion level fully outfitted for your excursion. In our case, the expedition boots were stored in a locker at the excursion level, so you want shoes that can easily slip on and off when you are fully outfitted, and then you can easily put your boots on at the excursion level. So those are a few must-have items. I have updated the Antarctica trip list that I posted in an earlier video, so refer to it for additional packing information. And please check out all the Antarctic videos by subscribing below. Cheers!